In this video I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress blog and you should back up your WordPress blog regularly so that if anything happens to the server you have a copy of your backup. The simplest way to back up your blog is from your control panel. I'm going to use cPanel for this demonstration but if you have another type of control panel the procedure is quite similar. OK, in cPanel come down here to where it says Files and then click here on Backup Wizard. And it gives you the steps here. You can back up or restore. And what you want to back up really are the two things that you need for your WordPress blog to work are the home directory and the MySQL databases. The things like email forwarders configuration and email filters configuration are more to do with the actual running of your website. So we click on backup. And then you can choose whether or not to do a full or a partial backup. Personally, I would do a full backup to begin with and partial backups later on. And as it says on the screen here, you can only use this to move your accounts to another server or to keep a local copy of your files. Uh, but it's useful to have just for safety, just in case everything crashes. Otherwise, I would just simply do a home directory backup and backups of your MySQL databases. And what you do is simply click here where it says home directory and then you want to download it to your computer's hard drive so click on this button here. This pop-up window opens make sure that the save file radio button is selected and then click here on OK to download it. The next section to download is the MySQL databases so just click here on MySQL databases and you can see that this particular website has a number of MySQL databases. Um, unless you've got a really extensive website, yours probably won't have quite so many. Um, the procedure is pretty much the same. Decide which MySQL database you're going to download. Right click, select Save Link As. Um, if you're using Firefox, if you're using Internet Explorer, it will say save target as. Click once. This pop-up window opens up and then just simply click on save to save this to your computer's hard drive. Once you've got WordPress set up the way you want it, once you've got the theme that you like and you've got all the widgets and plugins and everything that you like all sorted out, and you've downloaded it as a home directory backup. The only things that really change on a day-to-day -day basis when you're making your posts are the MySQL databases. Now you can go ahead and back up the MySQL databases from cPanel like I've just shown you, but there is an easier way of doing it and that's by using a plugin and the plugin that I have in mind is this one. It's called the WordPress Database Backup. And it backs up the tables and everything in your MySQL databases. And it's called WP-DB Backup. And you download it from this site here, austinmazuko.com forward slash WordPress hyphens plugins forward slash WP dash db dash backup and you have to download this and install it manually and then activate it and once it's done you will see it here in your plugins menu and you'll also when you click on tools when it comes down to available tools you'll see here it says backup so click on there to configure it and you can see it will enable you to download your WordPress database tables. You can exclude spam comments from the WP comments and exclude post revisions from WP posts if you want. And then you have the backup options 
what you can do is you can download it onto your server download it onto your computer or email the backup either to the email address that you've already got configured as part of your WordPress blog or to any other address that you want really and once you've selected the option you want click on backup now in this particular case I'm going to download it to my computer and you can see it's going through all the various sections backing up the tables etc it takes just a few moments I'm doing this in real time I'm not pausing the video or anything and then you can save it to your computer's hard drive just by clicking on OK and there we go it's taking a while to scan it for viruses on my computer and there we are all downloads are complete the other thing that you can do with this plugin is that you can schedule a backup at a particular time so you can then have the backup emailed to you as an attachment um, this is alright I suppose when your WordPress blog doesn't have a lot on it but after you've got you know several years of comments on it or several years of postings you might find that this file gets a bit big but when you're starting out it's not a bad idea to do this you can schedule when you want it either never or hourly which I think would probably be a bit excessive or twice daily for most people I would think the two options that you'd want to choose will either be once daily or once weekly and again you choose your particular um, email address let's say I want to have it done every week click here on schedule backup and there you go the schedule backup options are saved one thing I would do if you decide to change your theme or you decide to add some more plugins to your blog you should go ahead and do a home directory backup from cPanel just to be on the safe side but this is how you can create backups for your WordPress blog